Well, I've been homeless like off and on for a number of years. The homeless are almost in many ways unseen. I lost my job. But there are homeless people everywhere. I did a lot of things when I was young, you know, stupid, young and dumb. There are people from all, all, all races, all social strata. Uh, my background still hunts me. There are people who have problems with alcohol and drugs. Because it's hard for me to get a job. There are people who... Things that you do when you're younger... Are just getting out of prison. It, it follows you. The definition of homeless is not only people living under bridges. Right now I'm living in, in like an um, abandoned house. It's a really violent lifestyle. And I've been there for, for a good little bit. Put yourself in that other person's shoes. For a lot of people, they're, they get just depressed by the whole issue of homelessness. We've learned to cherish what we have. Because homelessness is not, it's not going away. And I think it's important to see what other people see. PhotoWorks is a group of homeless people and people who are at risk homeless or people who are formerly homeless. We meet with these people, our clients, homeless people, and basically we'll give any, a camera to anybody. I was trying to get something when I shot that. We give them disposable cameras. Because you didn't use a flash. It's a good shot. Just a regular disposable camera that you can buy at Walmart. Were you inside this button? As long as we shot the prints and they came out. Oh, it's epic. Sir. We got to keep the prints. It's, it's kind of a nice shot right there. It's not really a photography class. It's more of a workshop. I like that. We give them there it is. the instructions to there it is. There's your photo. go out and photograph their life. This one has sun on it. Keep a diary, a visual diary. Yeah, that is good quality. People will go out and try to shoot things perfectly, like buildings and things. Oh, it is. After a couple of tries with the camera, this is a great shot. People the, come back with that's got nice light on it and everything. Their own this character stamped on the camera. <laughs> you want to look at? It? Be honest about what they're shooting. Not go out and try to make things look the way they aren't, but just express what they see and how they feel. Your time, 6.58, weather and traffic every 10 minutes. If you plan on traveling uh, on I-77 this morning, it's going to be a mess coming off the John Bell Freeway. Well, my mornings, I thank the Lord for, for me being able to be in here and nobody comes in and, and bother me or hurt me, you know, anything. This is where I, I sleep set. My sleep corner. This is my cot right here. I rest is on. This is my sleeping area. Like I said, um, I got all of this covered actually from the, um, from the morgue. Um, they give out these blankets and stuff. I've spent a lot of nights with no lights and having to eat beans out of a can. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is my young age growing up, you know. Sean, who um, has been with the program for, oh, maybe three or four years. Actually, I had got like locked up. I drew a picture while I was in there. With Sean, he's very bright. And I brought it out with me. And funny and a nice guy. I showed it to a couple of people and they liked it. But he lives in abandoned buildings. And they told me about the, the center, right? He li he's lived on the street. And so I went in there and I did it and that's when I started. His original photos were in the wintertime in abandoned buildings. I carry my equipment with me. You know, I get a lot of people coming to me. And I like to talk to people and, you know, get to meet new people. He's photographed the street around his, where he lives. I think being down there where, where you know, a lot of homeless folks are, I think they do kind of see, it maybe give them a different view of us. But when they buy those pictures, you know, I think they take with them something other than just that picture, you know what I'm saying? When I leave here, you know, going to glory, you know, that's still gonna, that's still gonna be here, you know, something that I did, yeah. You know how Superman put on his cape or whatever? He's a different person. When I, when I, put, on, when I put on my cameras and, and stuff, you know, I feel like I'm a different person, you know? I'm not, I walk down the street, people don't see me as a homeless person, you know what I'm saying? After 40 years of, of being treated for mental illness, I, uh, I've gotten a real good sense of uh, of, of what is considered normal, and I have to stay within those parameters. We've seen the soft underbelly of Charlotte in many ways, I guess some people would say, but, and we've had freedom that maybe the rich haven't had, but we sure have suffered a lot. We've learned to cherish what we have. Bruce is um, from Western North Carolina. He's a force of nature. We've made do with 
It was shots from under train tracks, stressors in the morning where we slept the night before. And the ones I take, I find a certain purity of the people or a certain essence. Just lately, he's, he's learned to express himself. And he comes back with thousands of images. He did, he's doing exactly what we asked people to do, which is take this camera and photograph your life. And he photographs everything. He'll photograph menus, photos of him smoking cigarettes. He's, he's a very interesting guy. I find if I talk to the person I'm, I'm taking a portrait of, I get a better shot. He's really kind of come into his own. He's gotten over the paranoia of taking pictures of people. And he'll just walk up to people and start talking to them and take their pictures. And the portraits are pretty nice. I don't think we yet know the power of the pictures. I think we'll be able to get more out of these pictures than just flat images. It shows resilience in people. It shows a tenderness that was, that's not known generally among the poor. They don't make so many mistakes. They, they know where the landmines are because they've stepped on them. And if they're alive at their age, it's because they were smart. Or they're lucky or both. Well, one of the stories it tells is there, but for the grace of God go I. I've had some students who I have given cameras to and said, I'll never see this camera again. It always blows my mind when somebody like that comes back with these just brilliant images. A lot of these pictures uh, you look at and they are very, they can be very depressing. But at the same time, um, you're showing something that, that's real. You're showing, you're showing a reality that um, most people choose not to see, but it's reality. I mean, it's just, there's, these are street scenes that we drive by usually in our cars, so you won't see them. I think it's a way for people to, to come out of their shell um, if they're having trouble with their life. It's uh, a way for them to show us what they see um, on the street. And I've seen people get, get sober and I've seen people find a job. And um, there are certain, there are a lot of students who are, have been there the whole time and they, they are, they're chronically homeless. I, I have also seen people um, kind of graduate th through the program and now have jobs and, and they have housing. Proving to me that everybody has something inside that you don't see. These are taken by people living on the street. The subject is homelessness, or is it? The subject is, here are some homeless people taking photos of the world. So I want them to kind of maybe get inside the same skin as the person taking the picture. <laughs>